welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from ISI MSTAT 2019, problem number 15 from the PS section. The problem says that how many solutions does the equation cos square x plus 3 sin x cos x plus 1 equals to 0 have for x belonging to this interval, this semi open interval? There are four options 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? So, how many solutions of this equation have? has in this particular interval right so the equation cos square x plus 3 sin x cos x plus 1 equals to 0 for x belonging to this interval right so let t equals to cos x right since x belongs to 0 comma 2 pi so some from 0 to 2 pi including 0 and excluding 2 pi therefore t obviously belongs to it since t is cos x it belongs to minus 1 to plus 1 right now writing this entire equation in in terms of t this is t square plus 3 into root over 1 minus t square into t plus 1 equals to 0, right? Now, taking this particular term in the LHS and the rest in the RHS and squaring it, we have this thing, which easily follows that this is ultimately a quadratic in t to the 4, in t square, sorry. It's a quadratic in t square. So, it's very easy to solve. It just follows very easily, smoothly. And ultimately, we get t square minus half into t square minus 1 by 5 is equals to 0. That means t is equals to plus minus 1 by root 2 and plus minus 1 by root 5. Now, that means, see, we have to actually, we have four solutions. Now, don't rush the solution to this problem. You might think that since we have got four solutions, then there are four, the answer is four. But no, wait a minute. Since we have actually squared this equation while solving it, it might have created some extraneous solutions. Might have. You know, for example, if t is equals to 1, for sake, an equation is t is equals to 1, and you square it, that means t squared equals to 1. And from there, if you try to solve it back, you get t equals to plus minus 1, right? You get two solutions, plus 1 and minus 1, right? But we originally had only t equals to 1, not minus 1. That means this minus 1 is an extra linear solution. So that's why whenever you square something, it might create something extraneous. Not always, but might create something extraneous. We have to check the solutions back into the original equation, this equation, this star, so that to check whether the solutions actually satisfy the original equation or not. Now, as we can see that this is t squared, this is positive, this is positive, and this is, if t is positive, suppose t is positive, then this is entire RHS, sorry, LHS, this entire thing, LHS, is actually a positive quantity, right? So it can never be zero, right? So t for therefore for t equals to plus one by root two and plus one by root five, this equation does not hold true. But for minus one by root two, we can see if t is equals to minus one by root two, the equation satisfies this. This is zero. Again, for t equals to minus one by root five, this also satisfies this. Plus the plus versions, that means one by root two and one by root five does not satisfy the equation. Therefore, we only have, as you can see, we only have two solutions. We two actual solutions. That's why I said that. We can't immediately rush into the conclusion that there are four solutions. There are two solutions for t. This is not for x. This is for t. So that means this equation, this equation in t has actually two solutions, minus 1 by root 2 and minus 1 by root 5. Now t is actually what? t is actually cos x. Therefore, cos x is actually minus, for cos x is equal to minus 1 by root 2 and minus 1 by root 5. The solution of this, this original equation, this one, that means if we put cos x is equals to minus 1 by root 2. This equation is satisfied. Again, if we put cos x is equals to minus 1 by root 5, this also satisfies. That means this equation has two solutions in terms of cos x, not x, in terms of cos x. But we want the solution in terms of x, right? Now, actually, for cos x is equal, equals to minus 1 by root 2, there are two, two values of x which satisfy this. Why? Because Similarly, for cos x equals to minus 1 by root 5 also has two solutions. You can easily see this is the graph. This, this is a very rough sketch. This is, a, this is the graph of cos x, this one. And for, say, minus 1 by root 2, if you see, this is minus 1 by root 2 actually intersects the curve at two points, this one and this one, right? So there are two. This For, for this value of x and for this value of x, we have cos x is equals to minus 1 by root 2. And again, for minus 1 by root 5, this, this line intersects again the it intersects the curve at two points, two distinct points. So this is for, for x is equals to this, and this, we have cos x equals to minus 1 by root 5. So ultimately, 
and this all belongs to this interval of 0 comma 2 pi this thing this all happens in this interval therefore there are four solutions to this problem right ultimately there are four solutions to this problem so this is actually a pretty easy problem it's not difficult at all the thing is only needed to know the that if if you just rush with the idea that there are four solutions and you might make some silly mistakes and ultimately get the answer wrong that's that's the only problem but ultimately the question is quite simple all you have to do is a substitution and all that and very easy quadratic so yeah that's the solution yeah hope you like it and uh, see you till next time